Hi guys, it's Allison Allison, and today I'm going to tell you a story that kind of moved me. So I hope it inspires you um, in your journey with Diatinaceous Earth. Now this was actually right before the new year. I was feeling kind of crazy. There was all kinds of things going on and my car was gave me some issues. And I have this wonderful guardian angel in my life who, who is a mechanic and his name is Roosevelt. <laughs> And Roosevelt is absolutely amazing to me. And um, it wasn't in pro probably until, it was probably sometime over the summer, I believe, um, he came by here and was working on my car. And, you know, I'm asking him, so how are you doing and stuff like that? And he's like, oh, you know, I'm having these health issues. And he starts to run down a long list of things that, the doctor said is going wrong with him and I don't remember all of what he said <laughs> but the last thing he said was and they think I have cancer and I was like oh my gosh like you know what I mean you see people and you know people get sick but it's like it's always weird and um when it like hits you and it comes to you in that way I don't know why it's always so surprising but it was um and so I said to him I said listen if I give you something will you take it and he said yeah and I, I looked at him again and I said, no, for real. If I give you something, will you take it? And he said, yes. Well, I went inside. I got him some diatinaceous earth. I went outside, explained to him what it was, and he took it. Now, I didn't know if he'd take it or not, but he actually did. And he said he was using it every day just as he um just as I had told him to take it now fast forward again now to um you know right before Christmas I called him about the car and I'm feeling like oh my god this guy is probably tired of me <laughs> you know what I mean because he really helps me out a lot and um I said to him oh my goodness I said you're such an angel in my life and he said me I'm the angel he said you're the angel and I was like it didn't register what he said and he you know he was there with his partner and he turned to his partner he said tell her what the doctor said and um, so the guy was like oh yeah he got um, back all of these test results and it, it's like he's 18 years old his numbers are like he's 18 years old and I was still like confused because I'm still in my kind of funk in my head and I'm like what what are you saying to me or whatever he said Allison he said I went back to the doctor they did all of these tests and everything came back clear he said not only that he said it actually says on the report that his numbers were like for an 18 year old and I was like what and I was like are you for real are you playing with me he said Allison I am going to bring you the next time I see you a copy of the report which he did uh, true to form about two weeks later he shows up and he said this is for you and he gave me the copy and I just when this man told me this it made me cry so hard because I was like, here I am thinking that I'm calling him for help when in fact he was coming to receive help. And um, I'm, I'm thanking God for him and he's thanking God for me. And um, so I, I called as many people as I could call my friends, my close family, and I called my moms. <laughs> and uh, my mom was like, well, how come? How come everybody, it's working for everybody, but it doesn't work for me? <laughs> and I was like, uh, probably because you don't take it. And she, she just like er, stopped in her tracks like there. I'll tell you about my mom in another episode, but long story short, you can't take it for like three days, which is what my mother did, and think that your issues are just going to resolve. That's the moral of the story. You have to stay the course. You have to be true to it. 
and just give yourself the nutrients you need so that you can get healthy. Have a good week.